Shalom. We are glad that you could join us and tune in to another time where we are meditating on God's Word. We are meditating on the richness of God's love. We have been looking at different attributes of His love and today we look at God's sacrificial love. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Sacrifice is often not a very appealing idea because of the thought of what we need to forego. Sacrifice means to be able to give something up, to be able to give something up that is of value and of importance. And sometimes we keep, we would like to keep everything we want without giving it in exchange. But God's love is a sacrificial love. It is a giving love. This love that we see is demonstrated by what Jesus did on the cross, the sacrifice that he made on our behalf for the exchange of our souls. So as God sacrificed his life for us, he gave up those divine privileges. He emptied himself. He humbled himself as a servant so that he could die for us and we could have eternity in, in exchange. His love is sacrificial and he teaches us to love sacrificially also. When we look at the example of Jesus, we see that he made the greatest sacrifice on our behalf. And it was purely for our good. It was purely for our benefit, so that he could save us from sin, he could save us from death, he could save us from hell. Sometimes when we make sacrifices. We sacrifice our own comfort and convenience, hoping that we will get a good reward or we will have some benefits as a result of it. As the scripture shows us today, it says greater love. That's what Jesus speaks of, greater love, which is to lay down one's life for another, for, for his friends. Jesus is speaking of this kind of a sacrificial love that is motivated by purely laying down or purely doing something for the, for the good of another. And this is the love that Jesus showed for us. So even as we go through this day, let us remember the sacrifice that Jesus did on our behalf so that you and I could be a recipient of His presence, of His righteousness forever into eternity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you did for us on the cross, for the sacrifice that you made, for the privileges that you gave up so that we could be living in eternity with you, Thank you that you did this for our good, for our benefit. Thank you for all that you have saved us from. We praise your holy name for this love that you have shown us. May we receive it in all of its goodness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.